John Schroer, one stock you like in the Allianz GI Health Sciences Fund is AbbVie. Now, this stock is up, I think, over 20% in the past year, but it's been bumpy because there's a lot of things going on. They're selling debt. They had that called off inversion with Shire. They're buying pharmacyclics. So tell me why you like it. Get to the core reason. Thank you for having me, Greg. Uh, we like AbbVie as a long holding over the next few years. I think it will be one of the best performing pharmaceutical stocks in the next few years. They have a very large product called Humira, and that product is going to be facing generic competition through biosimilars in 2017. And the reason that the stock sells at such a discount is because investors are looking at this and seeing that about 60% of the revenues will face competition. Recently, the company has announced an acquisition of Pharmacyclics, which has a very attractive, fast-growing product in oncology, and this product will change the profile of the revenues that had been rolling over to now increasing, growing about 5% through the end of the decade, and also taking EPS, which without the acquisition would have trended down to about $4.50 in 2020. We now see that more than $5.50 a share. You're also bullish on Vertex. Now, they've had a great year. It's up around 90% over the past year. Their cystic fibrosis drug doing very well. What takes this one higher? Well, Vertex right now is only competing in a very small percentage of the patients in cystic fibrosis. So all of the patients are genotyped, and right now they only address about 8% of the population. As they expand through new product introductions and combination therapy, they will be able to address eight times that share within the next year or two years. And so from that, you'll see Vertex grow their earnings and revenues, revenues from about a billion dollars this year to over six and a half billion dollars in 2020. Earnings this year are basically break even and should grow to more than $12 in 2020. I don't know many places where you can find that type of aggressive, very attractive growth. They dominate the market for cystic fibrosis and that's a name that we like longer term. And you're also bullish on Biogen. Now, there's a lot going on with Biogen. Uh, they're spending big on Alzheimer's. Why don't you talk about this particular stock? Biogen is a very attractive company that we look for uh, at the Allianz GI um, Fund. We look for companies that have new introductions of innovative, meaningful new therapeutics. Biogen's pipeline is extremely attractive. The key product that you mentioned for Alzheimer's, we saw a glimpse of the data earlier this year. Now that is a very difficult area to treat but it is such a very large market population. There's more than 10 million patients in the U.S. and the EU that would be addressed by this. They're currently unserved by any medicine on the market that changes the course of therapy. If this winds up being successful, and we'll see more data throughout the year, this could easily double Biogen's earnings. And then finally, can you talk about M&A in the biotech sector? We saw Alexion uh, recently go after Synegiva. We're talking about the Myelin, Teva, Perigo, Love Triangle. How does this all play out? Well, what you're seeing is, is large pharma companies and large biotech companies are looking to bring in technologies that they don't currently have as well as products that they can push through their infrastructure. In the recent deals that we've seen, uh, you're beginning to see valuations creep up, but you're also seeing that companies are recognizing there is a scarcity of value. There's a scarcity of assets out there. Valuations are creeping up. And so the way I still see that this trend plays out over the next year and the way that we see this playing out are those companies that have attractive assets early in their life cycle that are unencumbered, meaning they are not partnered up, they're not somehow uh, paired up with another company that would make it unattractive. Companies that we think are attractive on an M&A standpoint would be Vertex that I mentioned a second ago, as well as Biomarin. All right, well, thanks a lot for coming. Thanks for having me, Greg. That's great stuff, and thank you for watching The Street.